Okay, good afternoon. Usual format, we'll stop halfway through to turn the cameras off. Jess, do you want to begin for us? Right, so good afternoon. Uh, Good afternoon. Injuries uh, ahead of tomorrow's match? No. Uh, I spoke with the doctor uh, 10 minutes ago, but uh, we have no injuries at the moment. Then, of course, uh, uh, we we had a little uh, problem with Kovacic in the last match and also with uh, with Alonso. But uh, for the doctor, they are able to play. Now we have to see the last uh, training session and uh, just in order to 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 understand if uh, there uh, there is something somebody tired after the match. Saw that Aspilicueta signed a new deal. How important a player is he to the club? Well, I think that uh, Aspilicueta is important uh, for the staff, for the coach, uh, for the mates, and uh, is very important uh, for this club. I think I am very happy with the new contract for him and uh, for the club. Uh, with the transfer window up and coming uh, in the next few months, is there anything that Ruben Loftus Cheek could do? to ensure that he becomes a starting player at Chelsea? But he, he played uh, some matches in Europa League, in uh, League Cup, and uh, he played uh, five, six matches uh, in, uh, in Premier League without starting, I think, but uh, he is, uh, at the moment, he is very important for, uh, for us. Uh, he had some problems to understand very well what uh, what I want, but uh, now he is uh, improving. And in the last two matches, I was uh, really, really very happy with him. With so many clubs being interested in him, are you able to give him any assurances that he will be able to play? No. I want him uh, to stay to stay with me, to stay with us. So I think that uh, there is no chance. There's been rumours in the press that an official offer has gone in for Christian Pulisic. Is there anything you can tell us about that? But I think that uh, Pulisic uh, is a player of uh, Borussia Dortmund. And uh, I don't want to, to talk about uh, a player of uh, another club. It's not professional, I think. Wolves um, tomorrow. Um, They started well in the Premier League, but in recent weeks um, their form is very bad. What are you expecting from them? I I expect a very very difficult match because uh, they they are a very technical team. Uh, They they have a lot of uh, players very very technical. So they, they... they were unlucky in the last two matches, I think, but uh, I think that uh, it, it's not really very, very easy to play there. Uh, just finally, you would have seen Jurgen Klopp running onto the pitch recently, uh, showing lots of emotion. What's your reaction to that? Is that anything that you could imagine yourself doing when you're but, celebrating? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but um, you have to understand uh, the situation, uh, the derby, the goal in the in the, in the last uh, minute, maybe in the last uh, seconds of the match. So, can happen. It. Uh, it's better not not to do something like that. But uh, I can understand him. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. Matt, what, what is the injury for Kovacic and the injury for an ankle? An ankle, a knock in, the, in an ankle. And Alonso? Eh? Alonso? Alonso had a, a, a little problem with the back. Does that explain his performance? Because it wasn't to his usual high standard. Per questo, non è tanto bene la performance. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, You cannot, uh, I think that uh, you cannot uh, say that after the match. Or you are injury, or you are able to play. So, does he, do you think he needs a rest? Because he plays... Maybe during the match, uh, the, the back uh, 
worsen it. Uh, this is possible. I don't know. I, I want to speak to 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 him, but uh, he didn't play very well. Uh, I know very well this, but I think that uh, Alonso knows very well that uh, he didn't play very well. Mm, can happen at. Uh, Today we will see the, the, the reaction, uh, we will see the situation with the back. For the doctor, the, the back is better. I also wanted to ask about Alvaro Morata, but not about his hair this time. Um, does he need tough love, or do you need to... Um, or do you need to give him a, a hug, an encouragement? Or do you need to give him a hug, an encouragement? I don't know. I have to understand very well uh, what uh, he need, but uh, I am available to to do everything. Uh, but I think that Morata in the last in the last month uh, played well. He scored uh, five goals. Uh, he need only continuity, I think. Uh, because uh, he need, he need uh, confidence and confidence and confidence. And so I think that uh, we need only to have continuity in scoring. And when he misses a chance like he did on Sunday, it seems to weigh on his mind a lot. Does he need to try to find a psychological solution? Perché quando non quando non quando fa un errore sembra che sia abbia un effetto grande. Pensi che debba far cambiare psicologicamente? Maybe, maybe. Now he is 25, I think. Uh, he can change, but uh, the characteristics uh, of the, his character uh, are this. And so he has only to to, to stay calm, uh, because in the last match uh, he missed the goal only because uh, he wanted uh, to score too much. Nizal. Rizzo, um, Aspilicueta signed a new deal, um, but David Luiz and Cesc Fabregas' deals, they expire at the end of the season. Would you like to see them follow Aspilicueta and commit to Chelsea? David Luiz and Fabregas, I Non altro contratto. Sì, uh, I spoke with the club uh, about this uh, one month ago. Uh, I know very well that uh, it's, not, it's not easy, uh, but I think that uh, we can do a new, a new deal for, uh, for both. Okay, last two, Simon and then Liam to finish. Um. I was going to ask you something else, but why, why do you want those two to stay? Because uh, they, they are very important players for us. Uh, because uh, uh, on the other end it's very difficult to, to find uh, a centre-back uh, uh, for this level. And uh, it's very difficult to find uh, a, a central midfielder uh, technically uh, like Fabregas. And so I think that uh, they have to stay with us. They're both over 30. Is that not a concern for you? Uh, the deal uh, is uh, very difficult for this uh, reason, I think. Because uh, the club uh, wants uh, a... a a short contract and the players uh, want uh, a long contract and so it's difficult for this reason but I think that uh, at the end uh, we can find a solution. Okay, last question Liam. Um, Antonio Conte when he was here spoke about Chelsea needing to find new leaders because a lot of experienced players left. Does that make it more important for guys like David and Cesc I think that uh, David and uh, Cesc uh, are leaders. And so I think that uh, it's very important uh, for, for me, for the staff and uh, also for the mates uh, that uh, 
if they stay with us. I, I know the difficulties of the of the new deal. Uh, as I said before, uh, the, the the problem is only one year, two year, or, or three, four years for the new contract. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, the club will be able to find uh, the right solution. Okay, cameras off, please.